And there is 99 agility, another 250 points, just under 50k points total now, and two skills left to go until max. I probably will be coming back to the Apatol course for the 1,500 and 2,000 lap milestones. That would be another 750 points, and would we'll probably finish off 25 mil agility as well, which would uh, be worth it, I suppose, for the points. And that is construction down for 250 points, very fast, just one skill left to go and that is rune crafting, which I don't think will be too slow, that's about 2 mil XP an hour as well. And that is magic done and dusted for the league, 25 million XP. 95 rune crafting coming in, which is going to give me 500 points for base 95, 4 levels left to go until max. Took a break from runecrafting to come and do some Abyssal Sire and I've picked up my 7th Unsired, hoping for either my 2nd Bludgeon Piece or the pet. Yes, there we go. Alright, 1 Bludgeon Piece left to go. I probably will end up going for 250 Sire kills as well, um, but it would be nice to get the Bludgeon Piece before that. Got another Unsired. This is number 8. Can we finish the Bludgeon? We can! Excellent! Right, so I need to put this together and that's another 250 points and I can finish up 250 Sires and we'll be done with this boss. Alright, there we go. That is the Bludgeon. 250 points. Well, this is it. The very last level on the Trailblazer League because it is the last level that I can actually get. 99 rune crafting that's 750 points 250 of those for the level itself and 500 for maxing the stat page looks absolutely incredible uh, to be honest this has spurred me on to try and go for max on my Iron Man account in 2021 so we'll see if that's achievable um, still plenty of points left for me to get this league I think I'm going to try and finish on around 56,000 points uh, maybe a bit more, depends on what the dragon rank is looking like. I'm hoping that'll be enough. Um, it would be really good to finish the league in dragon rank, so going to keep pushing on for that. And we've got the final Abyssal Sire kill of the league coming in here. 250 kills, 12 unsired overall, and that is 250 points. Didn't get the pet, but couldn't really expect that. Um, happy to finish the bludgeon relatively early. And pleased to be done with the boss. Well, that is 250 points for completing, or rather filling, 40 medium clue collection log slots. Um, I thought I'd have a quick look at the collection log. Um, I did manage to get all of the boots apart from rangers, which is quite unfortunate because ranger boots would be the only ones that are actually useful for me, um, as they would be my best in slot boots and they give 100 points for wearing them. Um, but there we go. I think that may have actually been back-to-back -back boots as well. So I did get the wizard boots on clue number uh, 26, which is ridiculous. But I won't be doing any more medium clues because I think the only points that I can get from that tier of clue now is for completing 400 of them. So not really worth doing. I'll probably do some more hard clues and elite clues. But um, yeah, enjoyed doing that. I did a few cockatrice tasks. But yeah, shame not to get the rangers, but there we go. Can't really have expected to get them within 27 clues. Hey, we got the imbued heart, which um, I don't think gives any points and it isn't really that useful for me at this uh, stage of things, but that is cool to see. Um, I've been doing a few smoke devil tasks just for the hard and elite clues. I did get another mist battle staff and dust battle staff, so cool to see one of the rarer items. Hey, well that is a slight upgrade, Sammy Dehyde Boots, I will take those over my snakeskin boots. And uh, 15 hard clue collection log slots filled for 100 points, that was a bit of a mouthful. And that is 25 million Slayer XP for 250 points, which is a nice milestone to reach. Probably will continue to be getting a fair bit of Slayer XP, but uh, nice to knock that one out.
I have to say I really wasn't expecting to actually get a piece of Dragonstone armor but those are the gloves and that is 250 points and they look pretty snazzy as well. I'm very pleased with those. 1500 laps at the Apatol course done which means I can get 250 points for wearing my Crook Junior Monkey Backpack. Going to be going on towards uh, 2000 which is another 500 points. Finally done with the Apatol Agility course, that is 2000 laps done. So I can transform this into the Princely Monkey Backpack for 500 points. I did think this was going to get me closer to 25 mil agility but I still need to do the 60 agility ticket task and 250 laps so I'll do that at the RD rooftop course uh, on my way to 25 mil I think. Hey there we go, we're starting to think I wasn't going to get these over four times the drop rate uh, so I'll turn these into a dragon crossbow for 250 points. To be honest the alks here are really good and I'm going to need 25 mil for the demonic throne anyway which is a master task in the Fremnic region so hasn't been the worst thing in the world to go dry here. Hey there we go that is the task for getting 60 agility arena tickets in a row with no mistakes. I wondered whether the Karamja Elite Diary reward would help with that because it has a 10% chance of giving you double tickets and they did count towards it so that sped things up very slightly. I'll trade these tickets in and uh, finish up 25 mil agility XP. And there we go, that is agility done and dusted for the league, 250 points. Crafting done, 25 million XP. I ended up making quite a lot of Dragonhide bodies from all of the Dehides I had from Vorkath, which was kind of nice. I don't really need the money um, to alk them anymore. Sat at 42 mil, which should be plenty. Um, but yeah, that was another relatively easy one to get done. This cost me 25 mil, but it is 500 points, so... I think it's worth it. That is the Demonic Throne and I still have 14 mil left so plenty to cover 99, not 99, 25 mil construction if I decide to go for it. 250 Zolcanos and that is me done here. I got the Zolcano Shard but I didn't get the uh, Crystal Tool Seed which is a shame but I'm pretty sure I will have enough for 25 mil smithing now which is quite nice. I wasn't expecting to be able to get that. And that is 25 million mining XP for 250 points. I did take a look at all the smithing supplies I have in the bank and I don't quite have enough for 25 mil. So if I wanted to go for that, I would have to buy some ores. We'll have a look, see how I'm doing for time. But uh, yeah, up to 56,500 league points now. There we go. And that is fletching done and dusted as well. 25 million XP. This is going to be my very last Jad of the league. 15 KC for 250 points and let's see if I can get lucky with the final fire cape and get the pet. Unfortunately not but up to 57,000 points now. Another 25 mil done that is fire making. I had to AFK a few magic logs but I did get a decent amount from Abyssal Sire up to 57,500 points now so should be pretty safe for dragon rank. And that is the Kraken task done for 250 points. Hey, there we go. I forgot about this task, but that is um, one of the master tasks in the Tyran Win area to complete the Corrupted Gauntlet in under five minutes for 500 points, which is really nice. Four minutes, 49 seconds. Hey, there we go. That is an elite task for filling 30 hard clue collection log slots, 250 points. Well worth doing. I was not expecting this at all. I came to Puro Puro to finish off the 200 impling task for 100 points, but bare hand catching this lucky impling is actually an elite task, so that's going to give me 250 points, which I was not expecting to get at all. Um, so that means once I finish this next task, I can finish up the league on 59,000 points, which is pretty crazy. Very chuffed with that. And there we go, that is the last task of the league completed for 59,000 points. Uh, let's head over to the bank and wrap up the video and the series. And there we have it, that is the end of my Trailblazer League. I have had so much fun finishing up on 59,000 points. That will get me comfortably within the Dragon Rank, which I'm really, really pleased with. I really can't see the points going up too much over the next couple of days to uh, risk me slipping outside into the Rune Rank. Um, but yeah, let's have a very quick look at what we have achieved. Two pets, which is really cool. They will carry over into the next league, which I'm assuming will be around the same time next year. Um, yeah, finished up a lot of bosses, obviously did the DKs for the rings, 
Zora, uh, a little bit of the Basilisk Knights to get the jaw, um, fair amount of Abyssal Sire, got a few jars which was kind of cool and uh, did some clue scrolls towards the end of the league for a few points but mostly just for the fun of it. Um, yeah, the Vissi, the Monkey Backpack, all a lot of good fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching but the league has been a nice distraction for a couple of months and to be honest has spurred me on to uh, get back on the main Iron Man work towards maxing and a few other things this year which will be good fun um, but yeah thank you again for watching the videos hope you've enjoyed them and looking forward to seeing you all back in time for another video another progress video sometime soon until then take care